project. It's a slip fit jewelry box or fish tackle box. And, and the key on this, the whole point of this project is working on dimensioning and tolerances. So you kind of see the um, joint that's going to hold the box together. You want it snug enough so it doesn't come apart, um, but not too snug that you have to force it on there. So it's a slip fit jewelry box. This is made out of poplar. Step one is you really need to get your materials, measure the, square the materials up so you're working with the squared board. Um, write the dimensions of those materials down and then take those dimensions of your materials and transfer them into your notebook. And then you want to sketch it with dimensions and plan out your project. Remember, when you CNC this, fixturing is kind of the biggest part. So if this is a 14 inch board, you need at least an inch on each side to fixture it down. So you need enough room to screw it down to the tabletop on the CNC router, leaving you with only about 12 inches to work. Okay. So the process of this project is the same as all of them. You really want to start by figuring out your material and your dimensions. From there, you sketch it in your notebook and kind of keep track of everything. Then you draw it in Inventor. Again, you create two parts, the top and the bottom. You take those parts and you assemble them, create an assembly. You take that assembly and create a working drawing. So after it's drawn in your notebook, you've created it in Inventor. Then you start on the CNC project. First thing you do in here is you select the tool you're going to work with. So really, before you build anything, you need to know the materials and the tools, okay? Then after you selected Techno Servo, then you set up your stock, and you, you don't ask me what the stock setup is, you look in your notebook to figure out what material you have. So then you set up your stock, you create your geometry, you tool path that, you verify it, and what I'd highly recommend is you have somebody look at your verify to see if there are any mistakes in there. You save that file on your student folder, so you save your MCX file, Mastercam, and then when that's all done, you finally post it and convert it into G1, or code. Now that you have that numeric code, you're able to run it. So you, then you go out in the shop with the flash drive, your notebook, and your materials, and you run it on the CNC router. Then you finish it, meaning you router the edges, you sand it, uh, stain it, or whatever you need to do to finish it completely. You take a photo of it. The four pieces you post in your portfolio is a sketch in your notebook, your working drawing, DWG from Inventor, your Mastercam file, and your photo of your finished project.